you were speaking today about entrepreneurship in Australia and is it on the decline? Is it by world standards? Yeah, it is. In, in Australia, other Western countries, entrepreneurship rates, startup rates have been declining for the last sort of 10, 15 years, which is an interesting, maybe worrying development. Yet they're a very trendy thing to talk about in terms of startups. What's the, what's the mismatch there? I don't know what it is. It's never been as easy or as cheap to start a business, but we've got these declining rates. It could be people speculate could be growing indebtedness, it could be just general fear and uncertainty, it could be some cultural factors, it could be, who knows, people don't really know other than they're worried about it because new start businesses is a source of many growing jobs, so the smaller number of people doing it, in the long run, it's a, it could be a bit of a worry. You gave some figures on what new start small businesses do in terms of jobs growth, can you summarise that for us? Yeah, it's, it's a small percentage. Um, three to six percent of new start or small businesses are the ones that create the vast bulk of the jobs. Many others are good for self-employment, but in terms of creating jobs, employing people, it's only three, four, five, six percent across the globe. Um, and that's the, in a sense, these are the gazelles, this is the holy grail that a lot of economic development initiatives are seeking. So what's the hurdle we need to get over to really maximise the possibilities of that entrepreneurship starting small businesses and therefore jobs growth mm. here in Australia? Yeah, the hurdle is you need to have a good ecosystem and good services. So you need good services to help people validate their ideas, validate the market, then to advise them, nurture them, support them through the process of starting and growing a business. We can try and select the more growth-oriented ones, then you want to link them into finance at the right sort of time. Um, finance often comes later than you know, some people think, but it's just linking the right players together in an ecosystem. And that's what incubators, accelerators, those sort of services play, this linking, nurturing role to help people through this path. You mentioned uh, those different types of support services, incubators, accelerators, and so on. Your last slide, I think, was about which one is best. Uh, I think you have the question mark, which would you choose, and maybe which would a government choose? Can you run us through that very quickly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's, there's three options that I was playing around with. One is an seed accelerator that helps validate ideas and business models. Then there's a business incubator that helps grow the business. And a co-work space, which is just a sort of funky space where people can come together. Um, so if I had a choice of doing only one, I would do a seed accelerator because if you can start a business with your, the market being validated, the business model being validated, you're a long way down the track. But really what I want to do is what's called a super incubator where you do the whole lot together. So you've got all the elements in the chain. What governments go for, um, I think if governments were logical and rational, governments would be funding good technology incubation programs in Australia to help commercialise technology. Um, we can only hope that governments will be sensible and rational. So what's the future like for Australian business incubation and, and co-work spaces, that sort of sector? What do you think the future is like? Oh, look, I, think, I think the future is good. We've got a solid base. There's probably 40, 50 incubators that are quite sustainable. We've got a lot of expertise. It can grow further if governments provide the right sort of support. Um, but we need to... We need to nurture government along the way so they grow their understanding so they start to support things properly rather than just in a way to win elections. Excellent. Thanks for your insights. Thanks.